And a city where you can be as active or relaxed as you care to be lies within the county lines of Greer. Like we were talking about Sam Slaughter, our nightlife correspondent is going to be taking a deep dive into his top picks to make the most of your time at one of South Carolina's fastest growing cities. So Sam, first of all, let's talk about Greer. It's it's quiet, it's, it's yeah. quaint, but it's really on the rise. Yeah, it's growing. I mean, mm -hmm. as Greenville grows, as Spartanburg grows, it, I mean, it's right in the middle. And mm -hmm. so people are not being pushed there, but like they're finding that that comfortable quiet space in between yes. both of the cities well and it really packs a party you know yeah. you got some top picks for us things that are good for all ages but your first one what stands out to you about that place uh the first one i would say uh, uh southern growl mm -hmm. is the mm -hmm. i mean it's the one one of the two breweries in town um so southern growl is outside of downtown but not too far it's only maybe a mile or so yeah but they've got as you can see on the the image up there they've mm -hmm. got a ton of beers that they all they brew all in-house that you can see the brew system in the back and then one of my favorite things is their rotating uh, burger of the week and sometimes a chicken sandwich of the week mm -hmm. they are all um it, it's food porn uh like <laughs> oh, when gosh. they when they post the pictures they uh, know what they're doing huh? yeah oh, geez. And it's just really fun ingredients it's different every time and they make sure that they have a pairing of beer with them as well well 70 taps i think i saw on their website which is absurd yeah. I and mean, seeing the size of that brewery in itself i mean that's yeah. just a place to behold and then Holy smokes. they also have a huge outdoor area so once mm -hmm. it gets warmer mm -hmm. there's plenty of space outdoor if you want to bring the kids or the dogs uh and still be able to grab a, a meal yeah. or just have a couple beers very nice yeah. And also in Greer, tucked away in the old carriage house behind the well-known Cartwright Food Hall, this next stop is perfect for a Friday night. Yeah, so Trade Street Trap, Trade Street Tap Room. Try saying that. Trap Room. Time. I liked it. That was kind of fun. <laughs> uh, is in the back. So if you're at Cartwright Hall, you go all the way to the back, and there's two places back there. There's Trade Street Tap Room, which serves up beer, wine, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And then right next, uh, right next to it is White Wine and Butter. So it's a Cajun Bistro. Perfect. That you can get amazing. Cajun food and Creole food at. Mm -hmm. So it's really a win-win, but with Trade Street, uh, you've got beers on tap, you've got a ton of different cans to choose from, and then one of the things they do that I like, they do, obviously you can do a, a flight of beer, but they do mimosa flights. So they've got oh, like fun. six or seven different kinds of mimosas you can choose from. Wow. When I was in there, someone got one that was neon blue, so. Oh, so we're not talking like pineapple orange, we're going like full out unicorn. I think one was dragon fruit, um, oh my. and some other things, yeah. Okay, sky's the limit for the mimosa train out there. Yeah. Very nice. I like it. Well, any live music at these places, I'm sure that's definitely a growing scene in Greer as well. Yeah. Um, at I believe they have it at uh, Southern Growl okay, and great, then great. Um, Trade Street. I'm not sure. They might have it outside mm -hmm. in the summer. It's a little, it's small. It's just a basically yeah. a hallway that leads to the goodness of Cajun and beer in the there back. There you go. Well, it's worth investigating. How yeah. about that? And talking about a balanced uh, diet, this next Greer gem has a huge selection of sips and snacks, and it's open seven days a week, I saw online. Yes. That is what we need in this world. So I'm a fan of, I guess you would consider it a dive bar, like a locals only place where you can you can go, you can get a drink. There's no frills about it. Yes. I mean, here, uh, as you can see, it's called the Mason Jar. Drinks are served in Mason mm -hmm, Jars mm -hmm. or a Moscow Mule, however, whatever. Um, but you can get, you know, some nice apps. You can get a full meal there. They serve their salads in giant Mason Jars. Um, it's a, again, no frills. It's where you can go and just be comfortable and not worry about anything. That's right. Let your hair down. Maybe I'll do it on button and yeah. you're good to go. Yeah. I love the mason jar vibe too because it almost kind of gives the illusion you're getting so much more of a drink. I yes. mean that thing, that lip was huge. Yeah, yeah, I mean that was a Bloody Mary so you have to fit the garnishes on top. That's true. That's true. Yeah, And I mean a mason jar is like a, it's the kind of southern it thing is. anyway. When it I is. think drinking out of a mason jar I think being in the south. The reservoir of southern culture one might right. say. Yeah. Oh man Sam we love having you on set here but people can actually find you pouring them strong at the neat local place. Tell us what's, you know, update Carolina Barn House. Yeah, so over at Carolina Barn House in the West Village uh, in, in Poe West. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll be there working tomorrow, uh, but we just tapped either, it, we're either tapping it today or tomorrow, um, a, a new seltzer, Purple Rain, that I made uh, as one of my first solo batches helping out brewing there. Hey, so nice. it's got, it's a neon purple. Mm -hmm. um, it's got butterfly pea flower, lime, and honey in it. And sorry, it's, sorry, what was the first one? It's a uh, neon purple. A butterfly. Pea flower. Dive into that. It's a flower that turns things purple. Okay, sounds good. Just wanted to make sure <laughs> that's really it. Health code was up to par. Yes. Good, good, good. Well, that sounds beautiful in itself. Good for Instagram photos, and oh, yeah. it sounds delicious. Very refreshing on a day like today. Very much. Okay, wonderful, Sam. Well, always such a pleasure. Make sure you say hello to Sam this weekend at the Carolina Barn House, where you can shoot the breeze on Brewski. You can visit his website, follow him on social media on your screen for more. Thanks so much, Sam.